Hello, everybody, and welcome to the first playoff game of the PHL Season 2. Uh, this is going to be the Jaguars at the Reapers. This is the first game of the wild card round as well, and looks like play has just started. Yep, so in this matchup, we have the two-seed O&R representing the Reapers and the three-seed Simon representing the Jaguars. O&R was, o was 8-2 and two during the season. His only two losses coming against the Dragons as he just scores a quick goal here. Meanwhile, Simon at the three seed has been on a bit of a tumble lately finishing a season three and seven after being three and two i believe at one point now can you just um tell me how did their seasons compare to the last season i know owen r wasn't in the in uh, part of the league in season one but what about simon how does his league or how simon does his was, compare simon was one in six last season it was the only team to miss the playoffs so this is definitely a big improvement but i would have liked to, to have seen him finish stronger i agree and with that, it looks like another quick goal from the Reapers. So, uh, how was the record for between between these two players in this season? All right, uh, Owen R took both of his games against Simon. Owen R won every single game this season that wasn't against the Dragons. And uh, but how close were the scores in those? Because sometimes, you know, that doesn't always necessarily mean he's going to win. The first time ONR beat Simon 7 to 3 and the last game that they played ONR beat Simon 5 nothing. So I do expect ONR to take a win here by a pretty good margin. Yeah, and based on how he's been playing, um looks that way as well. He's been playing very aggressively, pushing. Simon is barely holding on. Um he, Owen is scoring goal after goal just keeping on the pressure. Um Simon has been able to get it over to Owen's side a couple of times but never able to follow through um cuz Owen's just been Owen's playing like he's an angry man. <laughs> Yep, and the winner of this game will move on to play the Dragons, who both teams lost to twice in the IHC Championship game. Right, and that's going to be at Dragons Stadium. And then the winner of that game is going to go on and face um, somebody else in the playoffs, or in the championship, I mean. Simon's been playing a little bit better um, after Owen scored that third goal. Oh, and it looks like Simon has got his own goal. Very impressive to score in the breakaway like that. A lot of teams can't do that. They always have trouble with those. Exactly. Ooh, almost a kickoff goal. Not quite. Owen's able to hit it to the side, but Simon's keeping on the pressure. Owen tried to get a breakaway just there, but was not able to follow through. Simons would very much love a goal here. He might score. He's keeping it on own side. Keeps going He's pretty close. A now a that lot it's more on his side, I don't think he'll score in this round. Well, this timer is not necessarily accurate, so we don't really know. But it looks like that's the end of round one. We'll be back with round two very shortly. All right, welcome to round two. Reapers, or, sorry, Jaguars at Reapers. Scores three. Reapers one. Jaguars two minutes on the clock. Play will start any second. Oh, and a quick kickoff goal. Yep, looks like a quick kickoff goal for the Reapers. Literally the worst possible thing that could happen to Simon. A quick kickoff goal. Yeah, that's not gonna help him out when he's been. Not he hasn't been playing bad necessarily, but Owen has been playing very very good. And another kickoff goal. He needs to not stop letting these in if he wants to have any hope of winning. Season is slipping away for Simon here if he keeps letting these in. He's going to have to get a kickoff goal or two himself, which he hasn't been able to do. You know, I've noticed most players get distinctly worse or distinctly better as the game goes on, and I think that um, the Jaguars and Simon are one of the players that gets worse, and Owen is one of the players that gets better. Uh, so that's not looking good for Simon. I mean, Owen just scored, what, two or three kickoff goals that quickly in the first 10 seconds. Other players that I also notice get worse as the game goes on are the Stankers, the Dog Beaters, and the Excavators. Right, whereas the uh, Dragons and the uh, Rangers and the Virgins all get better. I wonder why they get worse. It could be fatigue from all the clicking and the inevitable carpal tunnel syndrome that this league causes, but... But on the knows? other hand, the folks who get better have 
anger. <laughs> and they use that to their advantage. You play with the rage. Yeah. Specific, specifically Declan of the Dragons. Probably the angriest player I've ever seen. Yeah, I wouldn't disagree. So it's been a pretty back and forth after Owen scored those three kickoff goals, but Simon's really got to put some points on the board if he wants to if he wants to take home a victory in this game. I would like to see Simon get the score to around six to three or six to four. I do think he's a chance, and now right now is would be a perfect time to cut into that lead that O and R has. Right, but like we we're just talking about, even though he's Simon's been keeping out on Owen's side uh, a little bit more, O and R is angry. You can tell by the way he's playing right now. He keeps hitting Simon, um, and he's he does not want that pig to go into his net. Now, I know Simon gets a lot worse as the game goes on, but he's also he just got a lot worse as the season went on. He started off so strong. He had a positive goal differential, but he's just been getting slaughtered these last five games. Part of that, though, is also the difficulty of a schedule, you could say. Alrighty, looks like that's the end of round two. We'll be back with round three very shortly. All right, welcome back to round two. Scores six Reapers, one Jaguars, or round three, rather, and two minutes on the clock. All right, now, continuing on with what I said, and Simon's difficult schedule certainly does not help him down the stretch. He lost to Owen V 9-2, which originally would have been seen as an easy game, but Owen V got much, much better as the season went on, kind of opposite of what Simon did. Yeah. And then finally, to finish it, he lost to Owen R 5 nothing. So at this point, I think it's pretty unlikely that Simon wins this. He keeps getting it pretty close to Owen's goal, but Owen's um, almost airtight defense in this game is just not going to let anything in. And uh, Simon would have to score five times in the next minute 20, which I don't think he's capable of against Owen. Now, statistically, Owen is the third best defense in the league, while Simon is the fourth best defense. And with another goal I'm, from the Reapers, that they're just piling up. I don't think Simon can score six times um, in a minute ten. Now on the issue of offense, ONR had the third best in the league, while Simon had the second worst. So we're kind of seeing that here, his inability to score off the kickoff. Right. For such a so, yeah. not close game, it's actually been pretty back and forth. In games like this, where you're normally, um, when one player is dominating like this, usually it's on that player's side the whole time. But it's really been going quite back and forth. Simon's able to get it on Owen's side just fine. He just can't finish it off. But he did just score another goal. So maybe we're going to see a turnaround right here. This would be one of the biggest comebacks in PHL history if Simon was able to win at this point. Ultimately, I feel like this game just continues on with many preset narratives coming into this game of Simon's weak offense, his collapse, while Owen while ONR's continued dominance over everyone not named the Dragons. <laughs> right. And w w just as you said that, Simon did score another goal. He is he is playing angry now, too. He may be, as we were talking about before, we think he gets worse as the game goes on. But <laughs> with his season on the line like this, this is his last chance. Oh, and he whiffs that right there. That's a big problem for him. He was, uh, he just lost all the momentum he got from those two quick goals. Ultimately, I just feel like his efforts are too little too late at this point. ONR is going to move on to the conference championship game. It looks that way. Oh, it looks like we have a little bit of technical difficulties. Excellent work by the cameraman to get back in that very quickly. Yes, I must say. Congrats to him. Ultimately, although although this is the end of the line for Simon, what he, we can't we can we have to give him some credit here. He had a nice turnaround season. Many did not expect him to make the playoffs, but here he is, fighting, fighting to the very last second with his season on with the season on the line. So exactly. props to him. Like, you're right, he just scored another goal. And you know what? Putting up four goals against the, the uh, Reapers is not necessarily an easy thing to do. I mean, Declan only has beat him by a few more than that. So, um, it's yeah, and that looks like the end of the game. So the Reapers, with nine goals, will move on to the uh, P PHC 
semifinal IHC, game. IHC. I, sorry, IHC semifinal game, and they'll be playing the Dragons at Dragon Stadium. Um, but before that, we'll be seeing the wild card game between. Sorry, I forget who's playing in that one. That would be between O and V and Brian. And that's going to be at uh, Brian Stadium, I believe, right? Yep. So keep an eye out for that. Also, make sure to check out the description for a link to the newsletter uh, where we have game recaps, announcements, all that stuff uh, for all the other games in the season that we don't necessarily make videos for. That seems to be it. So thank you for watching and have a good day.